Hello everyone, happy Friday, Joel with Anansi Creative here, and today's video is going to be building off of a previous video where we create a pop-up contact form, and the previous one we used just built-in Webflow interactions. That's a nice, easy, everything inside of Webflow way to do it, but it has a couple limitations. The main one is that we can't close this modal using anything except the exit button and we probably could have a click anywhere outside of the modal function and create that inside of Webflow but we're going to be using a piece of custom JavaScript in order to accomplish this and there's a couple reasons why one is that we can introduce different ways of exiting it out of the modal in this case, we're going to use the escape key as a way to get out. And then if you click anywhere outside of it, that will allow you to get out. And then of course the exit button. But there's also the element of speed. While Webflow interactions are very simple and easy to learn, it's actually quite time consuming if you have to go and configure like five or six or 20 of these on a page that's going to take you a very long time and by dropping in a little bit of custom code we can actually save quite a bit of time so because this is a bit more of an advanced tutorial this one's going to go faster if you want to watch a bit more of the build process you can watch that video it will be up here anyway let's get right into it okay so here we are in our project Let's just look at what we have here. So the modal is here. Let's set that to block so we can see it. And then we'll also set this to block so we can see it. So the difference between this and what we created in the previous video is that the what's called modal was inside of what's called modal background. That was just for simplicity's sake. For this one, we need to have the screen be a trigger that allows us to get out of the modal, but we still need to have these forms accessible. So if you click on any of the form content, it won't exit out, but if you click outside of it, it will. The way we're accomplishing that is using Z index. So this is set to five and modal background is set to two. Therefore, if you click on this, it doesn't count as clicking outside on this because this is technically in front. Now, to configure this properly, we need to have these set to show none so that they're not visible as the screen comes in. And we can use on the keyboard P to bring up pages and we'll go to home and scroll down into the body tag section. And then you can head over to my GitHub page, which will be linked inside of the description and find the code here. So we'll grab this and then we'll discuss how it works. So what we have is the script tag to say that this is a script. We have our contact button, which is here. Uh, that's the class name. And so you'll need to fill in the class name of whatever is going to open up the modo. And we have that set to a click function and that makes the modo fade in as well as the modo background fade in. We haven't specified here a time, but the default timing inside of JavaScript is how I want it to look. You can add timing to this. And then sometimes when you have a script like this, things can get a little weird where you click on what should be the button that opens it, but then that also counts as a click off the screen to close it. And so what we have here is stop propagation added and that means that when this happens, the script stops. Now there's still additional script, but this clearly defines the separate actions that are going to be taken when a user interacts with this. So the next piece is the close modal button. If we go into our code and we make this visible, this is a div block, which contains the icon. We have that so there's a little bit more space to click on. And that is one of our options for closing that out. The second option is if you click on modal background. Anywhere on that is going to close out everything. And then we have an additional one, which is a document 
key down and that is set to the escape key. So if you hit the escape key, that will also close it down. Currently on the GitHub page, there's just this version, but I'm planning on adding into this repository a couple of additional versions where you can do things like stop scrolling from being possible with the same script. This will probably be an ongoing thing with additional versions that you can use. So stay tuned for those. Overall, I think it's pretty clear how this can be significantly faster than using Webflow interactions because all you have to do is fill in your class names and this is ready to go. And if you have 20 of these, you just have to change your class names for each one and you can put that together in more a matter of minutes rather than spending probably hours working on that inside of Webflow. Let's save this. Let's publish it. And if we take a look at the live site, we click contact, it comes up. If we go to enter something in, no problem. The modal doesn't close. If we hit this exit button, that will close it. If we click outside of the modal, that will close it. And if we hit the escape key on the keyboard, that will also close it. So guys, thank you for watching. I hope you got some value out of this. Like I said, stay tuned on the GitHub page for more versions of this, which will add and subtract different features. I'm also thinking of making a video in the future where we use uh, this piece of code to create a personalized welcome message for people following a 301 redirect from an old website. If these videos and snippets of code are beneficial to you, give us a subscribe and consider possibly sharing the content with some of your friends. That will help us grow and teach more people. I'd really appreciate that. Once again, thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time.